Hey, our friends, Chuckers, you going cross that again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we going to draw today? The Liberty Bell. Yes, the Liberty Bell. Ding dong. <laughs> All right, dude, you got your marker? Yeah. Cool. Okay, why are we going to draw the Liberty Bell? Um, because it's almost 4th of July. Yeah, it's almost the 4th of July. We're, we're in the U.S., huh? Yeah. We know some of our art friends aren't from the U.S., but on the 4th of July, we celebrate our independence. Mm -hmm. And it's a fun holiday where we light off fireworks and stuff. And the Liberty Bell is a sign or a symbol of liberty or freedom. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of something fun. We thought it would would be cool to draw today because tomorrow is awesome firework day. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with our paper horizontal and we're gonna draw just a little, uh, a small little uh, curve line or arc right in the middle of our paper and that's gonna be the top of the bell, okay? Excellent, dude. Okay, now we're going to draw the sides of the bell, and they're going to come straight down and then curve out just a little bit at the bottom. Great. Now we're going to do the same thing because it's symmetrical on both sides, huh? Yeah. So we're going to do the same line on the other side. Now let's jump back over to this side, and we're going to finish the side of it, and it's going to curve down kind of right at the end. I'm running out of room. I should have done that a little higher. That's okay. Okay, now we're going to draw a somewhat kind of just slightly curved. We're straight across. It's kind of almost straight, but curved. I like your bell. I like how far it comes out right here. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. It's good. We'll practice, but you could probably just come right in here just a little bit smaller. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Okay, now let's draw the bottom. So this is the little, the ringer at the bottom. It's just a big metal, I don't even know what that's called. One of our art friends could probably tell us in the comments, huh? Yeah. <laughs> ding dong. So yeah, that's the part that makes it ding dong. All right. Okay, now let's draw, we'll draw a couple lines. So we're going to draw, uh, we'll just draw, let's draw one line at the bottom here to just kind of mirror or mirror that one line. Sorry, parallel to this bottom line. Good job. I drew mine a little wobbly. Mine All right. Too. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to draw let's put another line right right in here across. And then let's put we're going to put three lines up here and there's some words that are written in here. Um, we're not going to write the words just cuz it's a little a little too detailed. We're trying to keep this step simple. So three lines right there. Good job. And then it has some words in there. And we're gonna we're gonna leave a link in the description of this video that will tell you more about the Liberty Bell and kind of how it came about. Is that cool? Yeah. Some cool facts about it. It'll also describe what's written here on the bell. It's pretty neat. I was reading it earlier today. Okay. All right. Now let's draw the top of the bell. And we're gonna do just a little, a little rectangle at the top. Good. Okay. Now the bell is attached to this big wood, this big wood piece, and we're gonna draw it just like this. We're gonna go line up, line across, and you want that line to kind of end at the same in the same spot, and then come back down. And you want to come to the same spot down here. Oh. So you could draw, no, let's keep going. You could draw this line first if that helps up at the top. Good, keep going. And all the way across. And then back down. Good job. And I probably drew this a little bit too far down, but that's way. okay. You drew yours further down. <laughs> that's all right. That's okay, we'll make it work. Okay, so we're gonna draw now a line that comes across at the bottom. Good. Okay, now we're gonna draw a little zigzag line that comes up, crossed, back up. And we can draw a little curved line that goes over the top. 
I'm going to draw that so it's symmetrical and then comes back down and does the zi same zigzag a little step over cool all right good job okay now let's draw it we're going to draw two little circles right next to this rectangle and this is a part that connects it to the wood so this when this was in the bell tower it, this whole thing was in there and then that's what it rotated on okay let's draw two diagonal lines that connect to the to the round circle and the same thing on the other side good job okay now we're going to draw a little round uh, curly line that comes through here and back down and this is what how it connected to to these uh, poles in there you can do that so we start over here it's like, oh it's almost like a little question mark and then draw a little line right there and then we're going to do the same thing over here so a little curly line or question mark and then a small little line right there good job you did it okay now let's try some details so we're going to draw a little uh, this is a metal piece that I think it pivoted or rotated on so that it could ring. Good. And then there are some big bolts sticking into the wood up here at the top. So we draw two on this side and then two on this side. Do you like the 4th of July, dude? Yeah. What's your favorite part? Fireworks. Fireworks or the food? Oh. <laughs> Mine's both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, let's draw two more diagonal lines right here in the middle, and then we can draw a little line that goes across. Running out of room, but I'm going to do two more bolts in the top of that guy. Cool, dude. We're done. Oh, wait, we're missing something. The crack. <laughs> yes, the crack. The crack is kind of what makes it the Liberty Bell, huh? Yeah. And so we draw a little S line that goes up the middle. And the little the link that we're going to put in the description for our video, that'll it'll talk about this crack. So you guys can learn a little bit more about the history of the bell. All right. And then they put two little things, two little metal bolts in here to try and keep the, I believe, to keep the crack from getting bigger. So we'll put two in there. And then we're going to start at the top and then trace that little crack down so it's a little wider down to the bottom. Nice job. Okay, color that in. Color that cracking. Cracking. <laughs> like crack it open. <laughs> crack it open. Awesome, dude. Look at that. Liberty Bell. Happy Fourth of July, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun drawing your Liberty Bell? Yeah. Ding dong. All right. We hope you guys had fun drawing your Liberty Bell with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, our friends. Bye. Yeah. I'm the bell. I want to be the bell. You want to be the bell? I'm going to put a crack in you. <laughs>